Recently, Supreme Master Ching Hai graciously allowed our association members to gather for an international seminar. It was a joyous occasion as Master and Disciples reunited to meditate and pray for peace. During this precious time, Supreme Master Ching Hai also spoke of the teachings of past masters and answered the spiritual questions of our association members. The following is a discussion with Supreme Master Ching Hai with the theme, Purity of Heart Can Create Many Miracles, which took place on August 22, 2008, during the International Seminar. Yes, so a lot of time I want to work 30 minutes early, so I park my car. Mm. I obey everything. Mm. I'm very grateful. You love me very much. Every single thing, and you help me exactly. Master help me everything. It's mm. great. So at that time, I have a DVD player in the car. So I talk and from here to the master. Mm. I say thank you, master, very very much. You help me, and the master, and she's so beautiful, and you help me a lot in my life. And I saw the matter, you stay in the stream around one minute, and then I and you talk together. At that time, I feel the same as a baby, and then I feel very grateful. And then after one, uh, one minute, and you go up, and I go away. And then I said, oh, mom, I so love you. Could you come back one more time, please? <laughs> I act like that, and then exactly you come back again, a little longer, around Stay two long. minutes. And I, I look at you, and you are so beautiful. All around you is a night, beautiful night. It's a very, very good. Anyway, here I'm so happy, and see your mother so happy, <laughs> so beautiful. Last night, when you up here, I sit very cold, you the same here, and said, oh, I'm lucky. Master always love me very much. Then you just sit down and I close my eyes. I, I received a lot of light. A light. And came to my with my The same uh, in Hong Kong before when uh, you came in a camp. I live in a camp before. And you came and you touched my forehead. I saw right away the heaven. I saw the, a lot of planet open very light. The same last night too. I close my eye and I received the light. Powerful came in. And then I hear the sound too. I know when you, uh, you want to uh, blessing all the brothers and sisters here. I understand you, and because that's why you told everybody should be turned night off and then see the light clearly. And then after the turn the light off, I receive right away. Yeah, I'm you so see happy. clearer in, yeah. in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> because when you have a little light, you feel distracted. But when it's all dark, nothing else to look. Okay, concentrate <laughs> inside, then yeah. it's better. May I have a last one when I yeah. visit you in Hong Kong. So I just went out from the center camp. I was refugee in the Hong Kong camp. So 1990, before I met you, I'm a disciple of uh, Buddhist. Mm. I have a service every Saturday in the camp. Mm. I have a, a land to help us to read the book and then to serve it uh, and then uh, everything. Mm. To the reciting, like Buddhist ritual, every Saturday in the camp. So uh, at that time, is some uh, monk and some nun from uh, Hong Kong came in. So one day, uh, the the monk and the told us it's have a uh, Nico Ching Hai, mm. Nico Thanh Hai, mm. and uh, came to visit. So all the all the camp, everything waiting, waiting, waiting to the that day. And then the first time at the door, and came in, I saw you. It's so beautiful, all the light, and then you walk so fast. And uh, so what I saw is the same, the foot didn't tap on the ground. Yeah, then I have yes. foot, and then hold your body, is uh, have a light. But I didn't believe it. I thought, oh, maybe not yet. It's on my eye, maybe something crazy. Trouble, you know? yeah, because the sunshine, at that time, it's a summer, you know. <laughs> and then I clean the eye, and I clean everything, and I look at it again. I still see the same thing. I said, oh, it's true. It's true. Uh, the, we think that is a master, and then for sure you are Buddha. <laughs> I shake my hand, and then the power from your body came to my body. I feel so comfortable. You know, at that time, uh, if, uh, if we're talking about uh, our planet, uh, when it's summer, everything hot, all the physical should be hot, except yes. you. I don't know why you is so cold. Okay. I said, oh, that may be the power of God. 
So you walk and you sit and you're talking a little while and then you came back and then you touch my forehead. I feel the same thing. I feel the power from you and came home. My body is so comfortable. And then I said, oh, that is for sure. The different nun is not the same. Another nun, another monk from Hong Kong and came in to uh, visit us. Exactly. At that time, I was wearing Buddhist nun robe. That's why I mean, and different nun than other nuns that had come in before. Okay. Yeah. Yes, so 28 people uh, have a service every Saturday and a sit together. Everybody have a visit, uh, something from you. Mm. We thought, oh, so many, so many months, actually a year, we didn't receive anything. Uh, we read in the um, uh, Buddhist book, it's so many things inside, but we didn't receive anything. You mean inside, huh? Yeah, okay. we didn't Connection receive anything. Uh, only when I see you and I receive right away. So we're talking about that, and then whole 28 people and said, we should eat vegetarian. Uh, yeah, should we become yeah, Immediately eat vegetarian, but oh. the master inside the camp is uh, it not enough the food. We try to eat vegetarian. It's a big uh, container. They uh, put the uh, meat in. Yeah. Tomorrow they put the uh, rice in. Yes. That's why it's not clean. Yeah, not so clean. we should be called early to tell the, somebody to give me the rice inside. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then we eat the rice and salt. Sauce. Just like that. Okay. Uh, so some uh, sister uh, from sister and brother in Hong Kong and came in. They are. Uh, uh, your disciple. They said, and uh, Master didn't allow to initiation for your guy in here because they're not enough, they're very giant. Mm. And but we said, no. We eat very giant until the Master initiation. After six months, and then uh, Master, Master have a message and came in and said, okay, Master will initiation for 28 people. Mm. Yeah. We are so happy. At the day in uh, initiation, chạy trưởng rồi là thiếu tá đại úy ở trong đó là ồn nào quá không có chuyển tâm ấn được oh, thì bắt đầu họ out. cho chúng con đi ra ngoài ah. chạy để ah. mà chuyển tâm ấn. Wow, yeah. they let them go out for initiation because inside is too noisy. Wow, it good very wait, very, very wait for that time. Very grateful. What a good day, yeah. <laughs> great day, because all the the people who are in charge of the camp decided to let them go out, all 28 people. These are 28 vegetarian people <laughs> waiting for six months. Uh, let them out, trust them like that, let them out somewhere yeah. so that they can get initiation in a quiet place. Yes, yeah, so at that time, my initiation and uh, when the Quan Quang and I saw you, so beautiful uh, master, I said, oh, it's very, very good. So master is already in my wisdom. Yeah, I'm grateful. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, one time I left from the central camp and to the latter camp to go to Philippines to wait. The way there, for example, the Canada, American, and some country, and came there, interview again. Yes, yes. Um, first day I went there, and then there's a man who worked there and said, you are so lucky. You is a lucky family. Canada, Roman, it sends some people to interview you here. And if you part here, and then you can come right away to Canada. It never, never happened before. After my family, just the four, four more family, it happened at that time. Mm. I said, oh God, thank you, Master. <laughs> you already helped me from the, from, from the bottom going up. When I interview, you help me, and when I going out, and you help me too, Asked. lady. Hmm. Yeah, she's so happy. She said, "Oh, I uh, I work for Canada government. I very welcome your family, Canada." Oh, very yeah. good. <laughs> Must yeah. help me. And, oh, and it's then, you are a good guy. That's why yeah. you meditate. You you try to be vegetarian in such a difficult situation like that. Yeah. So you deserve. <laughs> Thank you, Master. And then uh, I'm waiting the camp, and everybody is uh, waiting the camp to going out to the Hong Kong to visit there. You know, the same the bus in the gate so long, and uh, somebody to open the gate, and then the birds are flying and go travel everything. Oh, I'm peace, I'm peace. But I shouldn't go to uh, uh, Hong Kong Center to work with the people there. Mm -hmm. At that time, you meditation there in the third level. You know, Hong Kong, it have a third uh, level, and second level, and third level, master in on the top level. Yeah. You understand? Hong Kong center, there are uh, tiers, you know, like the first tier, 
the second and the third. I live on the the, the third level. <laughs> <laughs> you see, in the mountain area, it's a very special center. You yeah. know, I bought it for the Hong Kong disciples. So I take one uh, corner of the upper level, and the second, uh, the, the first, they are meditating every weekend. Yes, and now I'm not there. Of course, they go everywhere, and we have a lot to come quite and a lot of bananas. Yes. It's like a farmland, but uh, you don't see it's on a mountain, and you don't see Hong Kong at all when you're in there, except you climb very high on the tree or something on the top. But if you out in 10 minutes and the whole big city is right in front of you, you know, big tall building, Hong Kong style, and then you just turn a corner, no more. You're in the mountain, yes, yeah. with trees and fruit, birds, crickets. <laughs> yeah, so beautiful uh, at that time. It's so uh, some brother explained to me, uh, you know, this mountain before Master came is very poor, no wind, it didn't have a flower, it didn't have uh, many birds to singing, mm -hmm. and then it's now is so beautiful. So every morning I'm walk up there to work with brother and sister, and at four thirty, and uh, we are meditating together. And seven o'clock I came back to the camp. Mm -hmm. And then every day same like that. They let you? Wow. Yeah, they let me out like that. Wow. So last day they said, okay, today is the last day going out. You should be staying in the camp to prepare everything four days later and to fight with the Canada. Oh. And then uh, I said, yeah. But I went there and at four thirty we went to uh, uh, meditation. So I uh, I closed my eye, but I think to myself, I said, oh master. This world is small, but it's so many countries. I don't know when I can see you again. Yeah. Could you please let me see you today? But that time and you didn't contact with anybody. Mm -hmm. And then so it so happened. It's on I just played a half an hour. It's some uh, the monk, the monk and the nun from uh, up there and came down. He said, "Hey, what do you go up to third level and see master?" Oh, I'm quiet. I'm quite sad. Oh, Master, you love me very much. I just pray and then you let me go to see you. And when I came there, I saw it's a beautiful moon, beautiful moon, and the tree, and then the flower, and then the birds are singing, and then you uh, barbecue the food to give uh, all the all the brother and sister there to eat. And then you talk, but I feel that you talk for me. I feel tomorrow I uh, cannot to go here anymore and you give me a big present to see you and uh, you give me the food and you uh, talk so nice for me. I feel everything for me. The one thing happened, I have an itchy on the neck. In uh, my country, the doctor said this, uh, this signet cannot fit. Cannot fit. But uh, when I go up that summer, it's uh, very hot. Mm. And then when the heart is a go oh, more, itchy. so I said, "Oh, master, you can do anything. Maybe you fix <laughs> okay. for me this one." <laughs> you know, on the way up is a forest, and then I just play around ten minutes uh, before that, and suddenly I saw the one tip of uh. medication, brand new, and I run up, I cut it. I said, "Thank you, master. This medication is a treatment for me, mm. for sure, hundred percent." And I put it in my pocket. I put it on. Just Friday, all gone until now, never going up again. Mm. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> what kind of medicine is that? Everybody I don't know, I didn't know. read. I, I thought that one is a must Only for you. <laughs> Maybe from the heaven came down, I don't know, but I got that. Okay. Yeah, I talked to the people, I said, no, you crazy. In the forest, how, how come there's a little medication on there? In front of you, yes. Yeah, but they didn't understand, it's a master can do anything, anything. It's your faith that, yeah. that manifests the medicine. Yeah. Thank you, Master. You're I welcome. love you very much. You are so beautiful, my Master. I love master. you too. <laughs> Purity of the heart can do everything, huh? He has been uh, with me before, so it's easier, huh? All right. And uh, the purity of the heart can, can create many miracles.
Thank you for joining us for today's Between Master and Disciples on Supreme Master Television. Tune in tomorrow for part three of Purity of Heart Can Create Many Miracles. Coming up is Healthy Living, right after Noteworthy News. May the providence shine ever brightly on your path of goodness and nobility.